I swear to God, man, I feel like somebody flipped a switch. Like I was looking at him like, this is my best friend ever and we're buddies. And now I'm like, looking at him differently. Oh, God, I'm all romantical. <laughs> the turning point for me was right after Christmas. I thought that this could work for us. And I was starting to feel happier and I was starting to feel closer to him. And I'm one of those types of people, I think you either have chemistry from the door or you don't. And I didn't have that with him. And so I thought, we're just gonna be buddies through this whole thing. And it started to change for me. And then he started to kind of pull back. I kind of eased up when it came to committing to her because I just felt like as a genuine person or as who she was, it was spot on. Like there was a lot of great characters about her that I loved, but there was something that was holding me back from allowing myself to grow. The commute is a problem, big time, big, big time. I sell real estate back in Long Island. As much as I like to live with Jacqueline, it is so far from how I make my income. You know, it's what's going to keep me sane, so it doesn't work. He had an issue because we live 80 miles apart. You know, he's from Long Island, I live in Jersey, and we both said that we weren't willing to move before the experiment. And also, he missed his family, and he started to feel homesick, and that was a big issue. I just, I, I just, I don't want, I don't want to go. I mean, I. I know you really I, don't, don't want to go. I, I know that. I was well, upset about it, thinking, oh my God, my Uncle Ryan, right. he's going to move out. And I was really upset. Been with, you know, 28 years with me, and, you know. I just, I just like being around my family. I have a commitment to my family. They rely on me tremendously. My mom is by herself. My niece is 12 years old. She lives with my mother. So I just kind of feel like I have to you know, be there for them. It was a big, big sacrifice. That toll of traveling every single day when I worked, it was something I wasn't used to. And she only had 20 miles to go back home. I had a 60 mile commute, four hours commuting time every day. So I don't think she quite realized how much it really does strain your body and puts a stress on you. Like it just, it became too much for me. So we already started with a couple steps back because how are we gonna make this work? And he started to kind of panic about what's gonna happen. And so I'm like, well, what are you doing? Do you want to just be friends? Do you want us to not continue to grow any further? Because I actually started to become emotionally invested in this. It was working. And it turned around, and then he backed up. That was kind of a pivotal point for me when I realized, I think I'm, I'm in this on my own. 